In this video, we will introduce long arm personal jurisdiction as applied in the United States. When we say personal jurisdiction, we mean power over a person. Specifically, we mean a court's power over a person. If a court lacks personal jurisdiction, then the court has no power over the party. When a court has personal jurisdiction over a person, the court can issue a decision against that person. And when we say a person, we mean a natural person, like a human being, but also a company, a business. Let's take as an example the state of New York. New York is a large state with four United States District Courts. Of course, New York also has state courts, and you can find these courts throughout the state. New York also has borders, and borders are relevant to the issue of personal jurisdiction. So let's assume we have a case in New York, and the case is in New York Federal Court. We'll say that David is the defendant, and Patty is the plaintiff suing David in federal court. Now, let's say David, our defendant, is a resident of New York. He lives in New York State. It probably does not surprise you that a New York court has power over David. A New York court will have personal jurisdiction over David just based on his residence. But what if David is not a resident of New York? What if David is a resident of New Jersey? Does a New York court still have power over David? Can a New York court assert personal jurisdiction over David? And of course, this is also a question if David were a citizen of a different country. So what happens if New York does not have personal jurisdiction over David? If a New York court does not have personal jurisdiction over David, then Patty can't sue him in New York. She would have to sue in a different state that has personal jurisdiction over David. Sometimes in the United States, a court in one state will assert personal jurisdiction over a defendant who resides in a different state. When a court asserts personal jurisdiction over an out-of-state party, we call it long-arm personal jurisdiction. New York might be able to assert long-arm personal jurisdiction over David. If a court asserts long-arm personal jurisdiction, even an out-of-state defendant like David will have to defend himself in court. If you'd like to discuss personal jurisdiction or any other matter related to U.S. law, stop by the message board. Also, please visit my blog, and feel free to send me an email and to submit your comments below.